Okay, let's just get that straight. He tweeted that I heard a lot about Roblox Flip today. For the people unaware, it's a Roblox gambling site. It is illegal for anyone not an adult to gamble. Don't use it, you'll be banned. And so these people said Roblox frequently interacts with Creecraft on social media and monitors his Twitter account. As an example, here's Roblox responding to me. And they said, accordingly, Roblox knew or should have known that one of its primary social media personalities was raising alarms about these gambling sites, but Roblox did nothing because unbeknownst to Creek Crap and his followers, Roblox was actually making significant profit to Roblox's flip gambling operation. Oh, no. So my tweets that I tweeted out are being used in court to sue Roblox. Oh my god, they're gonna ban me. Roblox go ban me, dude. They are not gonna be happy about this one. Yeah, basically the rest of this lawsuit just talks about how these parents, their kids were using these websites. The parents had no idea and they spent thousands of dollars on these websites websites, you know, gambling, you're gonna lose money. All right. And they lost thousands of dollars. The parents are like, wait, what? You were gambling Robux on these websites? Like, well, what, 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 that's not cool. You shouldn't do that, Timmy. Why are you gambling Robux on these websites, Timmy? Go to your room, Timmy. You know what I mean? And well, now here we are. Roblox is being sued. But this is where things potentially could get very interesting. Because remember how I said that Roblox technically can't do anything against a lot of these websites because they don't exist in countries with laws, right? Well, one of the main reasons that kids are going to these websites, one of the main reasons that this lawsuit even exists. Once again, these sites have gained popularity over the years due to their presence on social media platforms such as TikTok, which attracts children to unlawfully gamble Roblox. So while Roblox and the police and the law and the government can't do anything against the websites, probably, you know, because again, they don't exist in countries with these laws. A lot of the people on TikTok making these videos, a lot of these people live in America. A lot of these people live in Canada, the UK in countries that do have laws against gambling. I would not be surprised if within the next year, a lot of these creators that are promoting these websites start getting sued and a lot of their channels and TikToks start getting taken down. I'm gonna laugh so hard if all of these creators get sued by Roblox or some other person, some other entity, some other company, and they have to pay millions of dollars for doing all of this because that's what you get for promoting and gambling the children, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let me know your thoughts down below. I'll keep you guys updated on this situation. Uh, this is gonna get interesting. This is gonna get very interesting. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye!